Okay, so we are going to walk through the drawing of the section, and uh, hopefully this is good and clear and everybody can get a good sense of that. I'm starting with my plan, and then what I'm going to do is put a sheet over the top of that plan, and I can see through it enough. I can see through uh, some of the lines coming through the plan enough that I'm okay with that. Um, I'm going to retape this down, so getting some of my drafting dots. Stick those in those corners uh, for now. Remember, I'm sort of curling up the page. If you can see the the edge here, there's the edge. And what I'm doing is curling up the page at the corner and dropping it down so that it stays flat. Uh, so sorry, so that stays um, straight. And then I'm lining it up with the sheet because I want to uh, do my best to center the drawing on the sheet. I've got those two down. And we're really looking at, in this assignment, really looking at accuracy. And I'm, I'm putting tape on the bottom as well. You might not be able to see that on the, the camera, but that's what I'm doing. Okay, and then what, are, what I'm looking at in the drawings that we were given, the PDF, I'm looking at this drawing. Uh, and this was the um, the second sheet uh, in this set, the second page. So the first page is that cover. This second page is this drawing right here. So I'm looking at this to get all of these dimensions, to understand these dimensions, understand heights of things, the overall height in there, get a sense of the proportion of some of the things that aren't uh, uh, dimensioned. And I'm going to draw this drawing. And I'm going to start with this, with getting the section cut drawn accurately. Um, so the first thing that I'll want to do is to, um, to, to be able to center this on the screen or on the page, excuse me. So I'm taking my scale and I know that my page is um, eight and a half by, or sorry, 11 by 17. Half of 11 is five and a half inches. So I'm gonna go right there. And with my blue lead, I'll just give myself something to work off of. And when I look at this section, what I can see in the height, the height of the space is what I'm gonna go off of. So I'm gonna go off of this dimension right here, which is 18 feet. Right, it says 18 feet high. And I want to center that 18 feet on the page. So I'm going to go nine feet up at eighth inch scale. So there's my eighth inch scale, nine feet up and nine feet down to give myself a, a distance of 18 feet overall centered on that page. And now what I can do is start to project lines through. So um, I, the plan is underneath this sheet, and I can project those lines through. So I know where certain things are, right? So there's an outside wall right here. Uh, and then there's the inside of that wall is about right there. And then on the other side, I can see that wall right about there. And right about there. So I'm going to presume by looking at the plan or at the section on that sheet that the roof is a little bit thicker than that. This overall width is about one foot six. So I'll go just maybe go just go to like one foot eight. And then I know that the, the opening, so this is the roof here, here are the side walls. Uh, I know that that opening in the roof, the width of that I can get off the plan, right? Because I drew those as dashed lines on the plan. So it starts there and it starts there. Now to get the angle that that comes back, I need to be able to draw the benches in. 
because that when I look at that drawing, the line comes from the top of the bench to this point is what I would need to connect on either side. Um, so when I look at those benches, uh, I know that the, the top of the bench comes out at eight feet, which is that line right in the middle, and to this point, which is the line that I'm getting off of the plan. And then it comes down to a point here somewhere. And then there's another line here where the bottom of the bench is. And I'm gonna presume that the bench is about a foot and a half or about one foot four, somewhere between there in height. And that it, uh, so, and that it comes straight down from there to the floor like that. And then it slopes back just ever so slightly. So I'm not using my straight, I'm just using the the, um, the triangle to get a straight line that slopes back a little bit to this point. And then I can connect those two points. So I've got the basic uh, outline of the bench now. So then I can draw you know, this diagonal line, right? So there's a line that comes from this point to this point. That determines that back uh, cut in the roof right there. Now I can draw the bench on the other side to be able to get the same thing. So I can, now I can project some of these lines across from my first bench, like that. I pro can project lines up from the plan below, there's a point there. I can connect some of those dots. And then I, now I have this line, right, which I can di do a, uh, uh, connect to that point, those two points to give me that cut in the roof. And then judging by the drawings, it looks like the roof slopes back this way, just ever so slightly. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to guess at what that is. Draw that line back. To make it the same, I'm going to project it across from that point. just to ensure that it's the same. So I've got that. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky, right? Because what we want to do is figure out uh, what's going on with the slope of some of these things. So this is, when we're actually cutting through here, we're cutting through the tunnel. So I'm, I want to figure out what the slope, what this, there's a little bit flat here, and then there's a slope up. This slopes down, the land slopes down, and this slopes up. And I have some dimensions that I can give myself, right? This says 5% slope. This says 7 feet clear. This says 7, 6 here. This says 5, 9 here. So I've got some things that I can go off of. So I'm going to start with those as a, a guide. So first, uh, let's see, that seven, six down from the side, I can do right, lost my, there we go, seven foot six, right there. And then the other side says five foot nine. So now that I have those two points, what I can do in, is connect them completely across the page, which presumes that this has sort of a common slope as it moves through, which we'll find out if we're right on that. But now we've got that top diagonal line. So now we need to figure out the bottom and where this thing meets. 
and we know that it stays at a seven foot clear dimension. So I think it's safe to assume that the opening here that comes through this wall is at seven feet. So I'm gonna go up seven feet and come across to here. And that's coming right to this point, right? Because we're coming through the tunnel and through that light cove, through the top of that bench. So it comes all the way to right there. And it looks like in the when I'm looking at that section, it pulls into about where the structure comes and it pops up just ever so slightly. I'm not even gonna measure that. I'm just gonna guess at the proportion of that. And then it comes out from there. So what is that dimension and where does this begin? Where does the slope begin? Uh, this is a bit of a guesswork, uh, but I can presume that when I look at the structure, it's probably based on that, uh, that footing that's below. And that footing comes all the way to this side of the wall. So it comes from this side of the wall and then it comes over and it comes over more than three feet. That door is three feet, so I know it's more than that. I'm gonna presume, again, I'm guessing, but I'm gonna presume that that's about um, six feet. That's where my slope starts for the, for the, uh, the ramp going up. So the ramp is a 5% slope, which is a ratio, right? And we know that a 5% slope is one to 20, right? One to 10 would be 10%. 1 to 20 is half of that, 5%. So a little bit of math to do there. But what I'm going to do is come across 20 feet to get that slope. I'm going to go across 20 feet. And then we're going to measure up one foot. Just like that. Extend that up so it's accurate. And that's my point. So I can connect those two points. And that gives me my lower slope. So the slope above that is gonna be seven feet, right? It says seven feet clear. So I'm gonna measure up from here, seven feet, which I know is already there. Then I'm gonna measure up from here, seven feet. It's about right there. And then I'm gonna connect that point with that point, that should ensure me that these two lines are parallel. And where those two connect, that becomes fairly close to it looks like it looks like I'm, a, I'm pretty pretty close on that they it looks like it comes into that structural grid line uh, a little bit closer to it so this might be a little bit high the slope might be a little bit off because when I look below that structural grid line is about right here there's the other structural grid line there's the other one I'm projecting those from the plan below me right and I'm just double checking some things here. Uh, the earth is pretty subjective. You know, this slope line, I'm, I, it's, I guess, but honestly, it's who knows how it's actually uh, panned out in terms of how the, 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 um, the land formed itself. But it looks like that comes, uh, you know, a little bit in from the center of that structural grid line, maybe as much as a couple feet. So it almost looks like it comes into about right there. So this slope, I'm gonna, this line I'm gonna redo to do that. So things are starting to get a little confusing, right? The lines are starting to get confusing. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go with my graphite, my 0.7 lead, and I'm gonna go over the things that I know are cut lines. So I'm just gonna work through this. That's the wall on the outside. That's the wall on the inside. The bottom of the bench, 
bottom of the bench. And you'll see me doing something that is uh, my way of drafting. I kind of go through from left to right and do all the vertical lines. And then maybe I'll come back and we'll go top to bottom and do all the horizontal lines. There's not a right or wrong way on this. It's just my way of doing things. And then I'm gonna just guess at this little light cove. Breaking my own rules, aren't I? Just kind of sneaking in some of these little things. And then I'll guess at this little um, spot underneath the bench where the floor drain is, right? It's sort of hidden underneath the bottom of the bench. Like that. This is not a cut line though, is it? So I actually made a mistake. So I'm gonna erase some of this. I'll end up drawing that in elevation, but I don't need that as a cut line. The cut line actually goes out to here and then up all the way to right about to that, um, that other grid line, to this grid line right here before it flattens out. So then we've got the back of the bench. I'm just coming back here to get these cut lines in. This bench is cut through. This one's cut through. I'm gonna get the roof. This is the land behind. The other side of the roof. The land coming down here. The tunnel sloping down. And then it goes flat. Um, yeah, it looks like that's what it does. So that's a little bit off. And then there's this little bit here. Steps down just a bit. And that's my cut line. That's everything that we are cut through. So now I'm gonna draw in some of the lines that are beyond the cut just to give some context. So I'm gonna start with the benches over here. I'm just gonna draw those. And I'm drawing these as a lighter line than the cut line. So maybe I'm just letting the weight of the pencil draw that line. So see how it's a little bit lighter? Coming across. I see this bench in elevation over here. And then those score lines I can take off of the plan. I'm gonna get them projecting these through the plan below. So at the bench line, let's see, I'm seeing it right here. I see point there and there, there and there. And those are lines that are at the base of the bench. I should be projecting this little line across though too, right? Like that. That's that little trough at the bottom. And then I can get from the plan as well, I can get where the where these score lines come up. It's about right here, here. 
Again, I'm looking, I'm looking at the plan underneath my sheet to get those lines. Like that. Uh, then I'll draw this door in. There's a line right here for that door. Then the door kind of sneaks itself right in here. There's another line for its frame. It's a three foot wide door. And then there's another line for the frame on the other side. Then I'll come over here and finish up with the railing. So there's a line beyond that's gonna follow this line. Something like that. You can I can measure off the plan here to just do that little bit. That's where it stops on the plan, that wall. So there's a chance that you know, it doesn't come to a perfect point. And then uh, I'm gonna take a guess at this railing. It looks like it starts about here. And I, but I do know how tall it is because the, the drawing says 42 inch guardrail. So that's three and a half feet. There, and I'll draw another, I'll do give myself another mark down here at three and a half feet. I'm going to use my blue light here. That's the top of the railing. The railing doesn't go very far. It has one, two, th three, seven segments. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven segments. Let's uh, presume each of those are four feet. So we'll go seven times four, we'll call this 28 feet long. 24, 20, 16, 12, 8, 4. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I'm just gonna march along and draw some lines to indicate the railing. Keeping these two lines pretty close together because it looks like the railing is pretty delicate. And I'm drawing these lines uh, pretty light, lighter than the section cut line for sure. And then I'll do the same at the top. One line, come down just a little bit. I'm guessing on this, I'm gonna to try to be really careful though to make sure it doesn't get out of parallel. And that is my section. I'm done, I'm ready to photograph this thing.